Scott Yu here again, this time with a demonstration to help explain how air pressure affects aerodynamics. Ever wonder how airplanes seem to defy the laws of gravity? Well, it's because of a phenomenon known as the Bernoulli Principle. In 1738, Daniel Bernoulli determined that fast-moving flow creates low pressure. I'll show you how the Bernoulli Principle works with air, which is also a fluid since it has no definite shape. I'll take these two empty soda cans and place them on the table about three inches apart from each other. Blowing a stream of air between the cans causes them to roll toward each other instead of away from each other. When Scott blows through the straw, the stream of air that he creates between the cans is now at a lower pressure than the air that is outside the cans. The higher pressure air outside of the cans rushes in to equalize the pressure difference and the cans roll toward each other. Similarly, the curve of an airplane wing forces air on top of the wing to travel faster than air underneath it. Faster air means lower pressure, so the high pressure air moves towards the low pressure air and lifts the wing up. To give you a better idea about how the Bernoulli principle works, I'll use a hair dryer to levitate this ping pong ball. Now, when the air blows directly upwards, the airstream is powerful enough to hold the ball in place, like this. But watch what happens when I tip the hair dryer sideways. If you look closely, you'll notice the ball does begin to fall, but it's lifted partially back into the airstream. That's because the air on top of the ball is faster. Remember, higher velocity creates a low pressure. The high pressure air under the ball moves towards the low pressure air and lifts the ball up. An airplane wing, a soda can, and a ping pong ball, all affected by the Bernoulli principle.